Christina, Warthog Princess, and welcome to another Juju B haul. This one is big. Yeah, I went a little crazy. So I recently discovered Juju B. I'll put a link here for my first video showing some of the things I got. I did go back and get a second haul when the Disney stuff came out. Um, this haul has a couple more Disney items and then some other items. But I wanted to just talk for just a moment about Jujubee. Like, why Jujubee? Why do I like it? How did I stumble upon it? Well, it was recommended by one of my viewers, so thank you. I don't recall at this moment off the top of my head who that was, um, but it was acknowledged in the video at the time. Um, and then it was Nicole who pointed out the Disney stuff. So, yeah, got that one. Um, but Jujubee is, it's like diaper bags and stuff, accessories for that. It's way beyond that. Because obviously I don't have kids, I don't have baby, um, but, but still the products are great. Um, so what it says, this I just took some info, some notes off the Jujubee website. It says, our mission is simple. We support parents on one of the most stressful, joyful, challenging, rewarding journeys in life, parenthood. Um, but here's what I like about it. It's washable. That's huge, especially in COVID times. It's very, very wipeable. It has Teflon fabric protection on the outside. It is waterproof, not like a little water resistant or whatever, water repellent. I mean, it's like waterproof. And then the inside has, um, I, don't, I don't know what it's called, but it has some antimicrobial stuff on the linings of the inside so that you're not gonna get any germs like cultivating in there and whatnot. Some of the bigger bags do have crumb drains where you can like push crumbs out the bottom instead of dumping your whole bag upside down that kind of thing not so into that it's not gonna be a big factor for me but you never know when you're gonna spill something in your bag and you need to push it out the bottom um, they all come like the diaper bags come with changing pads I've talked about that before they are great for project mats or a little picnic for yourself or with the nieces and nephews or you can for me I put things like that underneath the water bowl for the dog because they're sloppy water drinkers um, they, all the bags have purposefully have light colored linings on the inside so that when you get in there it's not a deep dark hole you can actually see things a little better um, smart pockets they have a lot of insulated pockets in key areas and then they have you know everything is just adjustable and whatnot all right so that's it for that one. And then we'll get into the second part of the notes in a moment. Let's go through what we got for the Disney stuff. The first item I got, I actually got this on eBay. I got a new with tags. So the cool thing about buying on eBay, not that I like to do it that often. Um, I did make a big purchase this week, but um, you get to pick your pattern placement because the item you're seeing is hopefully the item that you're buying. And so there you go. And there were multiples to pick from. You pick your price, you pick whatever. But then I got to pick the one with the pattern placement. And this one has a Mickey and a Minnie in, in their entirety. They're not cut off. There's no cut off Mickeys and Minnies. And then they have it on the other side as well. So that is a really good pattern placement with a pattern like this, I think. And then the flowers and everything else falls where it may. Um, but yeah, so it's just a coin purse. It's the same material as the other things, but it's very simple. It has the same interior as well so it's kind of small to get into i think it's really nice with cards and whatnot it doesn't have a clear view like a zip id but so cool and then it has a little ring so you can hook it on to things you know tether it inside your bag or whatever so the next item i got is the b dapper i had to think about that for a sec this is my only b dapper that i have and um I thought about getting another, but I wanted to try it out first. It's kind of um, an odd size for me. I think it's great for packing things into a bag, a bigger bag, which is what I got it for, to go inside my backpack. And because of the shape and size, it can either lay down or it can stand up and you can grab it by the handle. But it's a pretty simple bag. It's rectangular cube, as you can see, kind of see. It's, obviously it's all folded up. But then there's a pocket on the outside. So, oops. The tag is all caught up in there. Hang on. Yeah, okay, maybe that... I can't unzip it right now because the... Anyway, I have to cut that off. But it's just a plain inside. That's just silica. <laughs> yeah, but you can really open it up. You can really get down in there. I mean, yeah. So I think, I mean, this will hold full-size toiletries. It's great. 
and I love that it has a handle on the end. The zipper pulls, they're both single zipper, but the zipper pulls are little Mickey heads with the floral design inside of them, and they're gold colored, so they're super cute. All right, that's the bee dapper. And then I got the fuel cell also. So this is just filling in gaps. Most of this stuff is filling in gaps, and then I have a whole new collection. Um, but this fuel cell is insulated. I think, you know, like the B-Dab is just the fabric. This one actually has a thin slit layer to make it have some heat and cold holding capability. So it's a little bit thicker, it's a little more padded, which is great because, heck, you could use it as a tech pal to a bunch of techie stuff. Um, but I'm thinking snacks, um, things like that, that you need to keep hot or cold at least a little bit. And then there's a clear view pocket on the top of it. It um, It's pretty simple though very slouchy so you know you can mash it up the zippers it is a double zipper but these zippers just like on some of the other mickey things it's mickey and minnie and when they're zipped up together they face each other like they're kissing so cute. so so cute and then you can see the pattern with all the mickeys and minis all over it in different silhouettes super fun and it's all sides the top has a handle on it that it unclips on the one end, but it's tethered on the other. So, you know, it's great because I'll probably never untether it, I don't think. I think I'll just use it as a top handle. But that would allow you to wrap it around something else and then hook it on to something. Maybe, uh, I don't know, I can't, can't think at the moment of what I personally might use that for, but you never know. There you go. So that's the fuel cell. Oops, this goes back in there. Leave it in there till I use it at least. Arizona's pretty dry though, so desiccant's not so necessary. Then I, um, if you've watched the other video, I got some Harry Potter stuff. I've definitely been on a Harry Potter kick lately. Um, but this is the Be Zealous backpack. I love backpacks, as you know. So this is a great addition to my backpack collection. Again, because it's waterproof. So this would be, and it's very lightweight. It's be great for hiking, uh, you know, in all weather. It's great for a park day, um, both a local just park or an amusement park, Disney or Universal or whatever, Six Flags. Um, it's great for that because it's super fun pattern. It's waterproof, it's lightweight, yeah. So it also carries a lot, which is great. Has two pockets on the side, big cargo pockets. And then it has a zipper in the front Look at that internal pattern, the Gryffindor. <laughs> and then you have two zippers here for the um, mommy pocket, I guess they call it. But you know, obviously, it's all about the carrier. This does have this lining on the inside, this ribbing, and that tends to catch in the zippers just a little bit. So just FYI, it lives on both of my bags. But this opens up really big. It has two slip pockets, a nice privacy zipper, a key bungee, and as you can see, it's fun, fun colors. Um, so zipping that back up, these zipper pulls, by the way, um, these ones on, on here, these ones are Harry Potter heads, just like in the picture. And then you got, you got all the pals. So there's his other buddy, and then Hermione's on the top, on the back pocket. So you can see, just like the little characters in the pattern. Um, okay, so then there's a the main pocket, and the main pocket is colored the same. That interior pattern is bright. Um, and in here, I have a couple other items. So first of all, the bag itself. It comes with that changing pad. This is not padded, but it's both both sides are wipeable, and so that's nice. You put either side. It has this elastic. Here. I think that's where you're supposed to put your wipes, but you can put anything you want there. Roll up a sweater, whatever. It's just a little flap that kind of folds up. It's just tethered at the top. So it's a great place to put anything you want quick access. Then below that, you have a big slip with elastic, and that is basically, uh, I would say, it looks like waterproof pocket. And then in front of it, you have two mesh pockets attached to it. So a lot of different storage options. And then on the front side, you have two more mesh pockets. 
So when you get down into the bag, even without a bunch of accessory pouches, you'd still be pretty organized, which is great. Um, this fits just about anywhere, but for now, I'm just gonna put it back where it was, which is in that back slip pocket. And you can even just tuck it up behind that pocket as well. So then it's out of the way and it doesn't take up any space. Cool. There's no tech pocket on this. It's a pretty simple backpack and that's fine. But it has these nice gussets on the side. It, your stuff's not just gonna dump out. All right, so that's the main pocket. Do, 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 do. All right, and then there's another pocket up on top right here. And this is just a top end pocket. It goes just that deep to where my hand is. So, but it's soft lined. So you can put your phone up there or your sunglasses, things like that. That's anything you want soft lined or quick access. So use that however you like. The bag comes with a handle to carry like this. And it also has handles or loops for your, um, messenger strap it does not come with that but you can buy that separately uh, on the website or on amazon or wherever but yeah i didn't i didn't it's a backpack i'm not going to do messenger strap for it that's my opinion now the backpack straps they are padded they are nice these ones are not er ergonomically shaped or anything there's no chest strap they're very simple actually but that's part of the charm of this bag is its simplicity but the way that these fittings are on the end they're adjustable um, but they're this old school type, you know, in one and out the other. So you can see they kind of slip if, you, if you're maneuvering. So if you want to stop that, there's some other little things you can buy to put on there. I haven't got them, but we'll see if I need them. I don't know yet. So there's the backpack. And this is, um, ooh, what's the name of this? I think it's the Charms. Harry, uh, Harry Potter Charms or Dancing Charms or I don't know. Yeah, that just says all the same thing. So, anyway, there's that one. I'm running out of places to put everything down. Then I got a couple of smaller pieces. This is the mini Helix in um, Harry Potter. This is the Mary, not Mary Mischief, that's Vera. It's a, it's a mischief, something mischief, but it's the basic black. It's still the same nice material. You got this slip pocket, which the phone fits in nicely. Of course, my phone is charging, so I don't have it with me. Um, it has one zipper on the top, but there's your inside. So you got a mesh pocket on one side. Um, pretty simple. It does have a crossbody strap or a shoulder strap, however you want to use it. That is adjustable. Wait, is it adjustable? Yeah, it's adjustable and removable, obviously. And there's your little loops on the side where it hooks on. So it's a nice little bag. You could even make it a belt bag. Just hook it and, and put it around your waist instead of your shoulders. Um, but it has also one more pocket here. Just a straightforward pocket. And then it has this front pocket. Which I think, let's see, where's that coin purse? The coin purse might fit just, mm, no, it's a little, it's a little too tall. You could squish it in there, but no. So that doesn't fit in there, which means that the zip ID would not either. But the double ID might. But it has two pockets there as well. So you got the mesh and then the main pocket, and it has its own gusset there. So you can put all kinds of little things in this cute little crossbody purse is basically what I got it for. So I'd put my phone in the slip in the back, and I've got everything else I need inside with a small wallet, maybe even a zip ID as a wallet, but inside. There you go. So that's the mini helix. Stay, oh, stay. Okay, and then I also got the mini Be Right Back, which is, um, I'm not interested in the large size of this configuration, actually, I just, it's awkward for me, but I love the little one because this is such an adorable little crossbody purse, honestly, for an adult, I don't care. It's a cute pattern and it's so much fun. I have a couple of these now and I, might have another on order we'll see uh but i'm filling in some harry potter stuff not everything in every color but yeah so this one has a pocket on the front which is a little bit bigger than that other pocket so here's that coin purse again and just to check if i put it in the pocket and i put the zipper right it does fit in that pocket you just have to tuck the zipper in so that does fit very nicely there 
I think a zip ID might as well. It's a little bit bigger pocket, which is great. Um, so that's there on the front. The inside, so it opens up this way, it has the draw, so you can access it without everything dumping out. It's pretty roomy though. I mean, look at the size on the bottom there. It will hold a lot of stuff. There's your adjustable. Oh no, this one's, yeah, it's adjustable. Adjustable, removable. You have a mesh pocket inside. There you go. And then it zips up. This one is a single zipper. I do have another version that is a double zipper on there, which I do prefer because then if I'm wearing it crossbody, I can just zip open just the top and I can get whatever. This one I have to zip all the way up and over. Not a huge deal, but still nicer to have the top access. On the back, you have another slip pocket that is the width of the bag. Um, I don't know, I don't remember if my phone fits there or not, but the phone for sure fits inside, no problem. It's actually a pretty roomy little bag. So cute little bag, I love the top handle, so when I'm using this as an accessory piece, I can pack that inside my backpack and then just reach in and just grab that, which is great. Love, love, love that. I'm addicted to the top handles lately, honestly. Okay, then I got, speaking of the Be Right bag, um, so we got the Mini Helix, I'm sorry, what did I call this? Mini BFF, and then I have the Be Right bag, which also comes in a Mini. And inside here, in fact, I have a few other items including the mini. So let's look, let's look at that side by side. So we've got the B right back and the mini B right back, or the BRB, so called. So same basic configurations. Let's start with the big one. All right, so this one has gold fittings. They have Harry Potter and Jujube on the front, and on the back, it's got the glasses with the lightning bolt. Obviously, I haven't unwrapped everything yet. The front pocket is a magnetic snap. You have a clear ID window there, and then you have this pocket right here. This pocket is a perfect size for like wipes and whatnot, um, or you can put, I mean, it has a little gusset to it, but it's not super wide. So I think you can put a lot of different things in there, but more of like slim items generally. I'm looking for stuff. Yeah, you can put a wallet in there, maybe a checkbook for sure. All right, so you got that pocket. And then right behind it is your mommy pocket. I just keep calling it that because that's what people refer to it as. Um, yeah, so in here it's kind of a great organization. Again, you got the Gryffindor stripes, but you got a sunglass area, which is, you know, it's a nice little place to hold them, but it's not padded. It's not gonna do a whole lot to protect them, but it will prevent them from just getting scratched. You got this little pouch here, which is like a waterproof lining. I don't know the intent of it. Perhaps I was thinking maybe as a pacifier place because it is like a waterproof spot. Um, so things that are all like gooey, whatever, but as a non baby person, that is just a great pocket to put whatever you want and it's not mesh. So it's not going to dump things through. Um, and it gives you a little privacy, not that you need it, but, and then there's a big mesh pocket on the bottom. So I don't know if you can see that. It's kind of like that bottom third of the pocket there. Let me see if I can show you. It's, it's got a nice gusset on the front, but there's that pocket behind there. There's a key bungee right in the middle. So I've seen on some of the other people's videos, they hook things on here like they'll hook either a small B set or they'll hook a coin purse of some kind. And they just hook that right on there so they're not gonna lose it. And then they tuck that into the mesh below or into the upper pocket. And then you always know exactly where it is and you can find it and you can pull it out, get stuff out, drop it. You're not gonna drop it, you, you know, you still have it. So that's a thought, I mean, I, I you know, would generally use it for keys, but you know, I'm very, very open-minded. But yeah, so this has a really nice gusset on the side. You're not gonna see down in the bottom very well, but it has its own gusset as well. So there you have this much space to put all kinds of things in that pocket. Pretty cool. All right, so that's that pocket. Up above that, you have a zipper across. This one is a soft-lined pocket, again. Excuse me on the hiccups. Um, so this one is a great phone pocket. It goes, it will fit my whole hand. It goes down to about the bottom of that front flap. So it is a little deeper and it's the width of that section. It's a pretty good space. Again, you can put your sunglasses there if you don't put them down there. Anything you need soft. Inside the bag, you have this front panel has this mesh zipper area. So you can put other stuff in here, which is nice. Um, 
it comes with a changing mat. This one is padded, unlike the other one. This one actually has some padding to it, which is quite nice. Um, but there's your two-sided with all the icons from the, you can see the geometry there with the sticks all lined up. <laughs> But yeah, so I was thinking I might for now, I'll just put this in this mesh area. That just adds more padding to the front of the bag but doesn't get into my storage space too much. So there, I might just do that for now. Inside the other part of it, you have a big mesh pocket and you can see this one opens all the way. There's no gussets on it, it's open. Which can be very good or bad depending on what you're trying to do. If you don't want that, just don't unzip it all the way and you kind of make your own gussets that way. Um, but you have the mesh and then you have this other elastics like we talked about before that you can use for whatever you want. So this is why I got all these little accessory pieces so you can stow them all inside and organize yourself in the big cavernous bag. Okay, so this one has a much different handle. It goes all the way across and it's tethered. It does have the same messenger strap loops. You can also use those to hook it onto like a stroller or another bag. They have stroller strap clips things um, that you can buy separately as well. Again, it has the big cargo pockets on the side. These ones have a little bit of an expandable capability. They have this elastic and then some extra gathers in there on both the front and the back side of it. So you can get a little more out of these um, they might fit a little bit bigger bottle than on the Zealous, which is kind of cool. So both sides are the same there. And then you do still have this other pocket on top. Same like before we talked about, except this one is not soft lined. It goes down um, about, about to right here. So it's, it's about the same size as the other bag. It's just not soft lined on this one. But that's okay because you have the soft line pocket here, so you're not losing anything at all. Um, and then this one also does have a tech space. The Zealous, again, was very, very simple. This one has a lot more organization. I like them both very, very much, honestly. But this one has a side opening and your padded tech slot, so it's padded on both sides. And there you go. So if I wasn't bringing tech and I wanted to use that front mesh, I could either leave the changing pad out or put it back here. Um, that would just give more padding against my back. So you've got options. And then on this one, unlike the Zealous, it is ergonomically shaped and they are quite nicely padded and they have mesh here and on the back. And it's quilted so that you get some airflow in between you and the bag, which makes it much cooler to carry. Um, there. So I'm going to sweat anyways. I sweat a lot. But these are just more breathable with the mesh on there. So that's a really nice um, adaptation compared to the Zealous, which is very, very simple. So there you go. And this is just Harry Potter. I'm sure it has a another name. I forget. I was just looking by patterns. But there you go. It's in Gryffindor colors. But I'm Gryffindor, so that's happy for me. So the Mini, we've, we've seen this before in that other haul, but the Mini has similar construction. It has the handle on top. You can use the straps to make it a little crossbody bag. You can run it through here to make it a little backpack. You can make it a belt bag. You can do it any which way you want. Uh, it has this cute little pocket on the front. Again, it's a magnetic snap. I think this is a little too small for, yeah, it's too small for the coin purse. It's too narrow. But then the second pocket, single zipper, this pocket is big enough. Perfectly fits the coin purse right inside. Yeah, there's that inside pattern again. It is light, but it's bold. And then the main pocket on this one is again a single zipper, but on one of the other ones I have is a double zipper. So I don't know if that's just an evolution of style changes and modifications. There's your adjustable removable strap. And this one opens all the way just like the big one does. And it has just a mesh pocket in there. But it has quite a little bit of space to it when you look at the depth of the bag. So, so you can open it like laying down and it would be kind of like a lunch bunch. Or you can open it standing up. And, but because, and this is why I want two zippers here, I, I could open it just part way and, and access it. 
but because it's only one zipper, I have to open it all the way to get down in there, which of course I'm, I don't like. <laughs> yeah, so single zipper, not my favorite, but such a cute little thing and a great little organization piece for inside the backpack. And then, speaking of organization, I got the B set in the same pattern. So I didn't get everything in that pattern, but I did get a good sampling of items, plenty to get me going. And I obviously have cross match capability as well. But the B set is a three piece set. Um, it's three pouches. It has the same zippers as the, the backpack. And then one thing about the zippers on this, the biggest pouch has the lockable zippers. So they come together, they form that double loop. You put a lock through there and you can lock the pouch. Not a lot of need for that, but when you're traveling, that might be very beneficial. So this one, just very simple pouch. It's not padded or anything, it's not quilted, but it is just a nice pouch. Great size and space to it. It does have um, loops on the ends, right there and right there, that you can either use the wristlet strap, which is obviously removable, or you can use a crossbody strap, which is not adjustable, but is removable. So there you go. You got two strap options and you can use those straps with all three pouches. So here's the medium one, it has loops on both sides. The zipper pulls on this one are not the same. It's this skinny zipper, which is not my preference actually. It's sort of skinny, it's kind of hard to get a hold of. Um, but there you go. And it's otherwise the same, just a pouch that's in a proportionally smaller size. And then the small piece, the small set piece, so when you say, People call it that, the small set piece. This is what they're talking about. The smallest of the B set pieces. This one does not have loops on both sides. It just has it on one. But this is the one that I've seen a lot of people clip to that key bungee and then have that looped inside. And they actually use that as a wallet because it is quite roomy and you can fold up your money and put everything right inside. Um, if you have like the, for example, Vera Bradley has the slim card case you can put several of those in here keep lots of different cards be very very organized and still be able to grab just what you want um, but, but it opens up really nicely because it zips around the corner so you can really get into it and see so i, I could totally see me using that as a light wallet like a park day or something so pocket one two and three pouches i'm not even going to try and count at this moment how many b sets i have but I do love my pouches, so I've definitely been accumulating those in different patterns to match with different bags. Okay, so that is all of that. But now, <laughs> now we're just getting started and we're 27 minutes in. Okay, now let's talk about Tokidoki because, yeah, y'all know I'm a kid at heart, or maybe you don't, but maybe you're just figuring it out that I, I love Disney, I, I like Harry Potter. Um, I'm not as crazy about Harry Potter, although I've definitely been on a kick lately. It started with the Vera stuff, but I do like other things. And um, let me grab one thing before before I get into Toki Doki. Sorry, I forgot one more bag. This one came today. Um, this is Jujube as well. But sorry about that. I, I normally preposition everything. Um, but this is from their XY collection. So it's basically like their man bags, whatever. I, I speak both languages. I definitely, um, bilingual, I speak man and woman. But uh, I like the bag. I really like the configuration. It's neutral colors, obviously. This is a navy, it goes great. Um, but let's look at this. I mean, because it's all the same features. The zippers are configured differently, like the inside out style. But you have this upper pocket and it has two mesh pockets inside, but it has its own gusset. So it's very lug-like um, in, in that way. It sort of reminds me actually of like a compass, but bigger. <laughs> it has a zipper pocket on the front, and that's just a plain pocket, but big. And then you have your double zipper of what would on the, on the other bags be the mommy pocket, but I guess a daddy pocket is similar. You've got two mesh, and then you have a key leash it's not bungee, but it, it's nice little leash to hook things on. And this pocket has a really nice gusset as well. So you can see right there, it has a good inch or so of space. My nice, nice double zipper. This material is different as well. So I would liken this material to be 
quite like the like the heather indigo, for example, in color and texture. It just has a smoother feel versus the nylon -y feel. It is still got the same characteristics. It says right there, machine washable. Um, it also, let's see where else, there's a, here it is. Let's see what else it says. XY collection, <laughs> Jujube. It says, rugged but finely tailored, full featured yet deceptively simple in design. The XY collection boldly embodies the male paradox. Hybrid functions perform dual duty during and after baby. Classic fabrics with advanced coatings protect and perform, infused with Jujube DNA, every XY bag is crafted with hyper organization, true functional design, and a lifetime warranty. All of it has lifetime warranty. Love that. Anyway, so that's the front two pockets. It has two big side pockets and, and it has a mesh elastic on the outside, so it's like double. And then inside, you can put a lot in there. It's got quite a lot of room. It's got its own gusset and then it, it has space to go into the bag space as well. We'll come to something in another bag coming up that I'll show you how I plan to use this pocket in the very near future, actually. Um, actually, I'm going to leave that open because I'm kind of airing this one out. It has a little bit of a musty thing. I got this one on Amazon as well. All right, this side is similar, but it has a sunglass case. Uh, same as like the sunglass sack, if you will. And then behind it, you know, of course, you could use that pocket, same as the other. But this side doesn't have as much, um, this is not an official term, pooch into the side of the bag space as the other one. This one is more straight, um, whereas the other one is more accommodating. Yeah. So on this one, you have a top carry handle, you have ergonomic straps, you got the mesh, you got the mesh, you, yeah, that's it. This one has regular strap adjuster things. This should be on all of the Jujube bags. I don't know why they would do that differently on the men's, whatever. C'est la vie. There is one other pocket back here, and this is great. So if you're in a pickpocket environment, this might be a good bag because it's kind of hidden and it's up against your body right at your nape of your neck. Probably the most sensitive place on you that, you know, feels someone tickling your neck getting into that pocket right there, but it is a soft lined pocket, so you can put your phone or your wallet or your sunglasses or whatever there. So I assume it's meant to be the phone since you have the sunglass sack on the side, but you can do whatever you want in your own bag. Oops, let me not close the soft stuff inside. But I'll just leave it open. Okay, now the one bad thing about this bag is because it has these tall side pockets, which will accommodate a great variety of water bottles and whatnot. But that means that the side, the zippers, it is double zipper, but it only goes down that much. So getting into the inside is a little bit less accessible. It's totally accessible though. You have on the front, you have two mesh pockets, which I know you can't see very well, but there you can kind of see them. And then on the back, same thing. Oops, hang on. Let's see if I can get you a view. Two mesh pockets down here. You have this padded interior pocket, which you could use as a tech section because this bag does not have a separate tech pocket. But you can see this one, let me move all this stuff out of the way. Where the changing pad currently is, you can use that because it's padded here and padded here. So that would be a great tech pocket. And then you have your mesh stuff in between. So down, looking at the bag itself, yeah, you have those mesh pockets. But even if you put a pouch in each of them, you still have a great lot of bag available to use. So um, it doesn't have feet on it or a protective thing, but since the fabric is so wipeable and washable, I suppose that's all right. But yeah, so this has a softer feel. I'm not sure how else to describe it. And then this thing is still, you have the elastics for the wipes and whatnot. So, so very similar. And then the changing pad, same as the others. This one is padded. And it just has like a, a nylon side and then the I'm a, like denim side. It's not denim, but it's kind of what it feels like. All right, so I'm gonna put this back in here and just set this bag aside. Yeah, so I almost forgot that one. 
very important. It's probably my favorite configuration. I just wish it would come in some of the other fun patterns. Speaking of patterns, Tokidoki. So Tokidoki translates to sometimes in Japanese, um, which is an internationally recognized iconic lifestyle brand based on the vision of an Italian artist, Simone Leno. I'm not sure if I'm saying that right, and his partners, serial entrepreneurs Pune Mohar and Ivan Arnold, and I apologize if I've butchered their names, but debuted in 2005, and it's got like a cult-like following, and they're just these cutesy little characters. Um, I did try to learn some of the names. I'm just, just first intro to Tokidoki, but it's colorful and fun, and I at first thought I would just get a piece or two, but then I fell in love with this one pattern. So the pattern I fell in love with is called Camp Toki, T-O-K-I, and I just think it's fun to say Toki Doki anyways. But I found a bunch of stuff on Amazon and eBay, and I stocked up on Toki Doki, Camp Toki pieces. So let's start with this bag. Uh, I'm forgetting the name of it. I want to say, hang on, hang on. I don't want to say the wrong thing. Yeah, be supplied. So I would have been right. Okay, good. I'm learning. Sorry. But be supplied. So it's a tote type bag. Um, and I really like it because it comes with this nice messenger strap. It does have a padded thing. And you can remove that pad as well. Um, but So you can carry it both ways. So if I was to just put this on, it's not totally adjusted proper. But, but yeah, so you can carry it that way totally. And I would carry that as a daily bag. I totally would. And it's just so fun. And I love purple, of course. So look at all the purple in this pattern. Um, and if you're wondering, yeah, the bag is loaded with a bunch of stuff, but I'll show you that. So look at the pattern. You have all these cute little characters. And there's like, okay, there's like <laughs> Bigfoot in the woods. But you kind of have ground and sky and then ground again. So that's kind of how the pattern layers. But with all the purples and blues and, and it just the colors look really nice together. And my niece loves like My Little Pony and my sister-in-law does horses. So, and I love horses. So all these unicorns and horses and it's just so cute. Yeah, and all the little, so every time I look at the bag, I see another cute little feature in the pattern, you know, a different character, a different um, expression, a different activity. It's just been a lot of fun so far. And I just got it like last couple days I've been amassing all of the shipments. <laughs> but okay. So this bag, um, before we go into the bag, let's look at what's inside of it because I have it, I have it stuffed up. So it has two side pockets. You can see here's one. This side, I don't have anything in it, so we'll look at it first. I have, there's just a mesh pocket here, a mesh pocket here, and it has its own gusset, so it does have some space to it. Um, I don't think it's big enough to fit like a mini BRB or anything, but you could fit a, like a middle size of the B set perhaps something like that in there. But again, it's that waterproof fabric. And I don't mind, it's, it's not a plasticky feel. I know you can kind of hear it, but I don't, I don't really mind it because I know that that's waterproof talking. <laughs> um, yeah, more of the different pattern. Um, you got the panda. Some of them are in little cactus outfits. There's a story about that as well, which we'll come back to another day when we dig into the characters. But on the back, you got a ninja, you got a hammock, you got a big tent. There's another tent in the pattern, but not on here. Okay, so let's look at the other pocket. Wait, is this the one I just opened? No. Okay, so not only did I buy things to travel with and enjoy hiking and camping and whatever, I bought some snack packs. Now, I don't have kids, these are for me. But, like, if I want to take my, because I'm doing this super strict diet, right? So, I even traveling just around during the day, I got a little thing that I can pack some snacks for on the go so that I'm not tempted to stop and eat something at fast food or whatever that I shouldn't be having. So I'll like almonds, some cucumber slices and some celery sticks, for example, that's perfect. I could just have that for a snack on the go, any part of it. So now these are measured containers. I don't need the measurements, but they do say on the bottom so like this is 60 cc's or 60 ounces. So I think that's like a quarter cup or something. But they are, they are labeled and they just snap right on and then you can unscrew the caps and, and load and unload and, and do whatever. So it's really nifty. 
And even the top, oops, even the top can come off. So you can actually stack them higher if you wanted. But this is what I was thinking I would put in the side pockets of some of the bags because they're insulated. So like on here, uh, this is actually designed as a breastfeeding bag and a diaper bag. I don't care. <laughs> it's great. It's got great stuff. So anyways, I got this. But I also, because that one is kind of smaller and sometimes you want to take bigger items or more items. So I, I got this one. And look, it matches the bag. <laughs> That's awesome. Um, and it's Harry Potter. They do have yellow and red ones with like Hermione and Harry. But I got this one with Dumbledore. And, um, oh my gosh, the owl, uh, <laughs> total brain fart, uh, the owl, anyways. So Harry Potter, so these ones are a little bit bigger, uh, but the same concept, they're just not clear. Um, so this one is 100 cc, so it's a little bit bigger piece. So I want to say this is, uh, 250 cc's yeah so it's not full cups it's like a quarter a half two-thirds something like that per cup but same concept everything comes apart the same way but I like it it's a little bit bigger so I can put um, bigger types of snacks or pack two different ones like this one could go in a purse but I probably wouldn't be sticking this in a purse because it's just a little big but look how big this pocket is I have also a third size one and these are three different brands the first brand is Go Stack, S-T-A-K. Um, and these are all from Amazon, by the way. The second one is Whiskware. Whiskware, can you see that? Whiskware. And they do, they have Marvel characters. They have a lot of different ones. Um, and then this one is Zoli. And so I thought this one, again, bigger pieces or um, multi-day snacks, you know, different things like, or dog snacks in one of them as well. And these are each one cup. So these ones are bigger. And let's see, does this one say? And this set does not say the size on it. I thought one of them had measuring, but I guess not. Yeah, doesn't say the size on this one, but I think it's one cup each. Anyway, again, I don't care. I measure it before I put it in there. So once it's in there, I know that it's portioned. So I'm getting ready to go camping. So I'm going to pack this up with some of my dry snacks, like um, daily dose of almonds, you know, in different, and different, that's more almonds than a day, but, but I can put all that. But all three of those, all three of these fit in this compartment. Now that is amazing. Look at this deep cave of a compartment. It goes all the way back there. Now, if you're filling this compartment, that does take away room from the inside of the bag. So it's shared space. You just push that liner in or you push it out. Um, I said that backwards, but you get the idea. So there you go. But, but, but all of these fit right in there, which is really cool. So I'm just gonna leave them out for now though. Hopefully they're out of, out of view. All right, so I'm gonna close this pocket. Huge pocket on one side. And then, okay, so you got your carriage straps. This zipper, it, it has this U-shape opening. I, I think that's good in a way because it does, once you get it unzipped, give you a little bit of better access. You can, you can turn this top inside out and then you have a bunch of stuff inside. <laughs> so before we go to the inside, we have a slip pocket on the back. It's a full panel, it goes all the way down. Just a slip pocket, no magnet closure or anything. And did we already do on the front? I don't think we did. So one pocket on the front, it has a key bungee and then a single elastic mesh. And there you go. And it's purple on the inside, hello, love it. Yeah, so pretty simple outside. Then you get to the inside. <laughs> uh, we'll go through the individual things I grabbed too. This is Tokidoki, it's neon star is what it says, but it's a little like silicone coin purse. I just thought it was so cute and it was purple and I love it, I love it already. Uh, I wish it had just a little key ring on the one side so I could use it as a bag charm as well. I suppose I could put a carabiner on the zipper and do it that way. But it's just so cute and I think it will hold, perfectly hold my like my hand sanitizer or be great for coins and yeah. So, there you go. I, it has a name I'm sure, I don't know anything. Okay, I did get the Passy Pod as well. 
yeah, obviously I don't have pacifiers, but these are great, like great little tech case. Um, you can put hair things in there. You can put your hand sanitizer, a mask or a bunch of masks. Um, you can put a lot of things. It has these little elastic bungees on both sides. So you can use it for a lot of different things. And there you go. And then it has this clip so you can clip it onto your bag. Um, yeah, so I got that. And then I got, okay, oops. So this is another piece. This is called, I don't know what it's called. The Freedom 2-in-1 Belt Bag. I think it has another name. But it's an oval-shaped cosmetic, essentially. So it has a um, place where you can hook up the strap to make it a belt bag, and it would just be a simple oval belt bag. But I got it just as an internal packing organizer. I mean, it's just a, an oval shaped cosmetic. So you have a top zipper, there's your strap. It is removable and adjustable. And then you have just one pocket. It's a slip in the back. So pretty simple, but you can put a lot of stuff in there. So I just thought it'd be great. And then on the go, you could use it as a little purse or whatever, belt bag. Here you go. There's another view of the pattern. So cute, it's the little critters. Um, yeah, here's some more critters on the other side. Like I do know a couple of their names, but not any of the ones I'm seeing. Okay, so that's another thing. And then I got, of course I got, the B set, the three pouches. There's the other tent you can see, and some more of the characters. Slightly Smokey the Bear. <laughs> Too funny. Yeah. This is Donatella. I know that one. And I think this one here with the cactus ears, that's Sandy. But I mostly don't know the rest of them, except that's a kaiju, you know, like Godzilla. Yeah, that's about all I know. So, we got that. It's three pouches, and they, they're just the same. So you got large, medium, and small. And it has the same two straps that the other B-set has. But just a fun pattern. Fun, fun. Oh, now it is a little different because maybe this is an older version. It just has one zipper. It doesn't have the double zipper, so that is one difference. But basically the same. B-set. Okay, I'm going to be very set. <laughs> Alright. So, inside... It's a very simple bag, but you can see that side pocket where I, I said that shares space. You can see how much it comes into the main pocket. But if the main pocket is where you want the space, you just collapse that side and now it's internal space. So it's how you want to proportion it, but it is a shared space. The only internal organization aside from that is you have a privacy pocket on the back. And this pocket is about halfway down the bag, full width. Yeah, but that's it for the bag. So that's fun. And then this. I'm trying to be environmentally conscious, hence the reusable snack containers that I can use for myself and for Kelly um, at home and on the go, by the way. And then I got this set of reusable Ziplocs, basically. So they're silicone. Let's see. Uh, food bags. Silicone food bags. They, they, you do have to hand wash them. You can put them in the dishwasher. It's not really going to get them clean because of all the nooks and crannies. Um, but if you're within the temperature limit, you can put it in the dishwasher. So there you go. All right, but it comes in different sizes. I bought this big set that has all these different ones. So two small ones, which are colored. There's a blue one and a green one. And then three medium sized ones, which is like a regular sandwich bag, except they have a lot more gusset to them, so you can put more in it. And they have measuring on the side, look at that. So in case you didn't measure it before you put it in the bag, you actually could use it as a measuring device as well. But these are color-coded slides on the top, so the bag's all white, but you got three mediums and then two of the larger ones. And they're pretty, like they have a little bit of weight to them, but. Yeah, so these will not be like hiking, backpacking, deep in the woods kind of bags because they're just too heavy for that, but great reusable for other things, so there you go. 
that's my new set of reusables. And we're still not done because Camp Toki. Yay! Okay, guess what I got? I got the Be Right Back backpack. That's not all, but we already went over the backpack, so I'm not going to bore you with the details of the bag itself. Um, but we'll just take a quick look. Um, yeah, soft line is the same. Inside is the same. It, you got your pattern, snippet, your, all your pockets down there. Same, same. And double zipper. Okay, the zipper pulls on this one are the little diamond character. I don't, I'm sure it has a name too. But so cute, the pattern. I'm just loving it. All right, but inside here, I have more. <laughs> so there, it opens up again, same like the other. There's your changing mat. And then I have this little piece. So I'm just gonna put this away, except, wait, before I do, the changing mat is actually a good snapshot of the pattern, so you get your layers. You have sky and ground, and then sky and ground, so you see the different layers, but it repeats, you can see that here. So, and then left to right, it repeats as well, but there's your, pretty much your snapshot of the whole pattern, pretty much. Not that we have time to look at that right now, but. Oh, and it has an embroidered um, symbol, and you can kind of see behind that on the fabric here on the inside, it has that symbol as well, kind of all over in the, the purple. This one doesn't have the double, only the mesh one. Okay, so this is called the Be Ready. It's like a little cosmetic case. That's the size of it and the height. Um, this is great. This is one of my favorite travel size things from even from Vera, the Home and Away cosmetic, the brush up, those kinds of things. Um, Lug doesn't have one quite this size and shape. They do have a smaller double decker that's about half the width and two thirds the height. So different altogether. But I use these to put my medicines in. Even at home every day, I have my bottles of medicine all stored standing up and it's great for that but I also use it for a lot of other things. This one just has a simple handle. It is a nice little padded handle. On the back, there's a zipper pocket, just a small pocket. On some of these, that back right there is a clear ID window, so you can put a card in there. You can use it like a lunch box. It is a little bit insulated. But then you unzip it. It has a little bit of a rigid top and a rigid bottom, but the sides are very slouchy. So inside here, I have some items that I got from another seller on eBay, and I wanna talk a little bit about that. But in here you have like um, slots, you can put pens, you can put color crayons, you can put chapstick, you can put makeup brushes. Um, it's not a plastic interior, but it's very wipeable. And then you have these little mesh pockets around the inside as well. So you can use that space for whatever. Love it. All right, so on eBay, which I, I think I've spoken, I really have not shopped a lot on eBay. I have not that great of confidence in my fellow man because you know, you look at the prices for things, something that's like 20 bucks and someone's selling it for 600, you're like, what? It happens, okay. But um, this seller had reasonable prices for the items. They were all new with tags. They all came quickly and exactly as advertised. And um, I wrote down, I wanted to give her a shout out. It's bags for you eight. So it's spelled B-A-G-S, the number four, Y-O-U, and the number eight. Um, so eBay seller, highly recommend her because a couple things. One, all the things I just said. Two, I ordered this little mini BFF. And look at the perfect pattern placement with the tent. Uh, it's like my favorite part of it, that and the kaiju and the, the Bigfoot in the woods, but but anyway, so I got like a really great, we've already gone over this piece, so I won't go over it again, but it's just a, adorable. And like I said, reasonably priced. So I ordered this and I ordered this little coin purse. This is also Tokidoki, but it's in the sea punk pattern, so different pattern. Um, so it's got like a navy blue base instead of the other background. But I thought the pattern placement on this is just so perfect. I actually had my niece in mind um, who just would love, love, love this if I could bear to part with it. But 
on both sides it just had really good pattern placement and good colors but i especially just love this and i instantly thought of my niece kenzie in she lives in saint martin she's a water baby anyway so Quimper, so i bought these two items and and i'm new to ebay and i'm new to tokidoki and i'm new to jujube and i'm new to everything and there was also a glitch on my ipad like it said i had new messages but it didn't show them so i missed them and both messages she had offered, you know, seller offers a discounted price. Well, I missed both of that. And meanwhile, I had, I, a while had passed and I went and I checked out. Well, as soon as I checked out and I figured out the messages and I saw the discount offering, I'm like, well, crap, I just paid the full asking price, which is reasonable. But um, so I asked her, I said, well, it doesn't hurt to ask. So I typed a little message to her and I asked, hey, um, this is what happened sorry for the mistake but is there any chance that you could give me a partial refund for that discount that you offered um, but i thought that was a reasonable question i'm not trying to put one over on anyone um, but she came back and and we discussed it and instead of going through the rigmarole of trying to, to do that partial refund and figuring all that out she said how about if i just add uh, a tokidoki camp toki coin purse to cover the difference actually perfect solution i'm so 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 happy and it has also the perfect pattern placement for me because i have my tent and everything's there not a lot of like headless people or anything it's all very well positioned and then on the back side same thing very colorful i got my bigfoot i'm sure he has a name i don't know uh, but then all the critters so i kind of got the ground view two different ground views Super, super happy to have a few of these coin purses now to play with. So I thought that was above and beyond. That that was just super sweet, and we had a great exchange. Yeah, so kudos to you, Veronica. Thank you for all that. But then I got my stuff, and she sent along with it a gift with purchase. Totally unexpected. Super great surprise. I love, love, love it. And this one is Sea Punk as well. And I'm sorry, I don't know the name of this piece. This is a custom piece that someone made. Um, I guess she had gotten it from Etsy, uh, but it has this little tag on it. And it's just a tag, which I'm thinking I might put some of my seamstress skills to use, fold this in half and sew it to itself and make a loop. And then I can put like a carabiner on there so I can clip it onto other things. So I would just take it that next step for me. But what they did was they took that sea punk pattern, I'm guessing, uh, either an old bag that got used and worn out or maybe they used the changing mat to get the fabric for it I don't know but there it is and on the back it's just a stripey thing but they have a part of the sea punk and then a part of it inside as well and just a zipper closure so very very creative I, at first I thought a tissue pack but it's not quite the right size but I yeah so I could use that for a lot of things it's just super cute so very very cool and thank you again to Veronica. So that is the haul. That is B plus a few other things. And yay, so I'm gonna be busy for a while trying out all of these things. And meanwhile, um, I'll be here this weekend cranking out maybe another video or two, but I'll be gone next week. So in case you see this and you don't see a bunch of videos next week, that's why. I'm out camping and disconnecting, unplugging from the world. Um, plus there's a bad signal there, so definitely won't be upload capable while I'm away. But I will film some stuff for camping for all you RV people who are looking for that kind of info and I will come back loaded with a couple of those videos for you. Um, so I hope you all have a great weekend and a wonderful week and I will see you when I see you. Take care, bye for now. Don't forget to washi washi.